I'm just sitting out on my um, patio <laughs> after work, having a nice glass of wine and looking at the stars. And, um, you know, I'm realizing it's such a privilege to be incarnate here in this life, in, in, in this frequency. The more research that I've done, the, some of the cumulative effect of some of my research is spawning a lot of gratitude in me and a perspective. And also because I've lost about four, three good friends, one is very ill right now, in a short amount of time, <clears throat> last couple of years. That's what happens when you get to be our age or any time of life. You lose people. It makes you think. You only have so much time to paint here and have fun, and this is a game. And I read some Palladian information through Barbara Marciniak back in the 90s or something, can't remember now, Earth and Bringers of the Dawn. And he always talk, she always talked about the game. Like they always talked about the game, and I'm really starting to understand that, especially when I listen to Corey Good and David Wilcox and Guy on TV, Cosmic Disclosure. Highly recommend. Uh, I'm sitting there looking at the moon tonight. <laughs> What's on the back of the moon? I had this dream one time that I was like floating, and I came up over a crater on the moon, and all I saw over there was all these UFOs and all these ships and all it was like I thought everybody's here it was such a lucid dream and it was years ago and now when I listen to Corey I think like oh man what was that about such a privilege so uh, I just wanted to say I was looking up at the stars and because this is sort of like a virtual reality game sometimes there's teachings about it the physical world being the maya or the illusion which is like a trick right <clears throat> and so then i thought about the extrapolation into um people's thinking that the material world is the devil or is evil live backwards that's so interesting for evil devil lived when you turn the words around and uh letters around uh that it would extrapolate to that and really the maya, the illusion, is the privilege, is the game. You lined up to be here. This is a privilege. It's like a virtual virtual reality game. It doesn't last very long. And then you can leave this body and go back to a finer reality, a different frequency. So looking up at the stars is always wonderful after work, especially with a glass of wine. And Tim Phil Hadley loves to also made the attention to make sure that I observe and intend to see anything that is cloaked. That's really neat. Sorry. Peace out. I'm Hawaii.